very, very respectable. I would say she's a good woman so far. Good values. So there you go. But yes, I do like healthy obsession. Like, I want you to want to come home. You know how people say like, oh, I came home, I sat on the driveway for an hour before I went in. I think, why are you not racing through that door to be with your wife? You know? Nah, bro, listen, I've, bruv, I've been in them situations, blood. You know what I mean? Where Gala pissed me off so much, bruv. You know, man, them, you know when you get off the bus, like, three stops early so you can walk home, blood, so you got an extra 30 minutes of peace, blood, listening to your music before you go home and your gal is just going to chat shit, bro. Listen, I've been there, bro. A long time ago, but I've been there, bruv. I swear down. I've been there, bro. Man, get back to the yard, and I'm just thinking she is just going to chat rubbish when I get in, bro. But you see, Fresh, for someone that's meant to be a professional and that deals with these gal all the time, yeah, how can he not see through this gal the way I can see through her? You know? Well, obviously, they're not happy, and they made a bad choice. Yeah, because you should always want to come home. Like, <coughs> bad choice. Babe, I need to do this. Are you... Send shots at me. No, it's something in my throat. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Hey, he knows. He knows deep down, yeah, that she's a failure, innit? Because he, he keeps making little comments like, ah, oh, made it bad choices and all these other things. But he's still entertaining it, though. He's the kind of guy that gets lost in the source, bro. He's the kind of guy that can get finessed by a pretty face. Do you know what I mean? He'll see all the red flags and he'll still end up giving her money, bro. He seems like that kind of guy. <laughs> Let's just start off with that and action. What? What you just said. Oh, and then you're just so cute. <laughs> just, just cute. <laughs> you just got this really like, what's the word? Like a teddy bear energy. You just want to cuddle you. They call me fat. No, I'm saying like you know that comfort. You know, you know, hug like a furry teddy bear. It's really yeah. Comfort. Friend zone blood. Russell Wilson teddy bear energy. You're gonna come in and pay for my kids, bro. This is mad. Do you know what I mean? He's trying to finesse her for the beat, yeah? She's trying to secure a stepdad for the use. This a teddy bear. Yeah, like, I just want to squeeze you. Is that a good thing? What part of me is a teddy bear? I mean, look at me, bro. I'm not that chubby, am I? I He's pissed. Like, bro, he just getting friend zoned. He thought he was finessing his way into the pom pom, and she's saying, oh, he's so nice. I don't know how he took my teddy bear response, but I really did mean that in a really nice way. I think there's no nice way. A very a great trait to have as a man. Well, no, it's not. Y'all don't want to fuck teddy bears. You know, like that. I'd rather you call me an asshole because assholes smash things all the time. You know, like that. Don't call me a teddy bear. Y'all are not trying to jump on teddy bears. This is crazy. When a woman looks for a man, they want to see the power. They want to see the strength. They want to see, you know, the dominant side. But they also want to see their man as their comfort. No. If I look at you and I'm scared to touch you, I'm, or you give me off like this standoff no. energy, yeah. I no. don't feel safe in all aspects with you anymore. I want to be... Bruv, you don't feel safe with a teddy bear. Why are you conflating two different things? Safety and comfort comes from that masculine energy. It doesn't come from something that's soft and cuddly, bro. Teddy bears don't make you feel safe. What are you talking about? Like, you're gassing now. Be like, yes, he's powerful. Yes, he's all of these things. But also, I just want to squeeze him. Teddy bears ain't <laughs> you know? powerful, bruv. You see us having kids together? Ooh, do you have any children? Bruv, bitches want a grizzly bear, not a teddy bear. You know, like that. They want a grumpy ass grizzly bear. That's what they want. They don't want no teddy bear, bro. I have one. Okay. You want to see him? Yeah. Am I allowed? Yeah. <laughs> Show you right now. He's actually um pretty cute. Five years old. Is it the dog? It's the dog. <laughs> Bruv, look at his dog, man. Broski. That's what I'm saying. That's his dog, you know. Man's walking around with this white fluffy dog. And that, that doesn't look like a husky either. It's not even, I don't even think it's a husky. <laughs> He thinks he's working his magic on me. What would you do if I couldn't cook? Hire a chef. You wouldn't care? No. Can you cook? Of course. No. <laughs> it wouldn't be nice, you know, that family set in. You come home from work, long day. She's got dinner on the table for you. Are you going to do that every single day? No. Yes. Really? Yes. You said earlier, the sheets, every single day, you, you don't want to change them. Because it's dogs. Yeah, because she wants to stay at home. That's why she's waiting for you to come and be the simp. The simp stepdad, bruv. So she can stay at home and cook 
and do everything and you can pay for her and her two kids, bro. Like, how are you not seeing this play? It's on there. I don't want to have to change it because there's a dog on there. You're going to be tired from work, maybe. You're going to be tired that day. I've cooked my entire I, life every day. I don't want to cook. It would make no difference whether I'm cooking for me or for you or for what. I, I cook every day. Okay, well, you may be different, but most women are going to be like, yo, you know what? Like, she's a delivery girl. Well, there spring. might be an odd day where, well, babe, should we eat out today, you know? That's normal in any relationship. Or I'll Look, just get it's great away. if you can cook. I'm just saying you don't have to cook. Okay, so it's not a requirement for you. No. Her cooking doesn't matter to me because it's probably terrible. So, hey, that's what it is. Cooking to me is one of my love languages. Like, that's how I show love is through doing certain things. Cooking, I love cooking. I love to feed people. If someone comes to your house, you have to feed them. It's how you show love. It's how you show love. That's how women get you fat, yeah? So you don't go out and cheat on them, bro. You know them ones. These gals are always feeders, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? They're always feeding you because they want you to be fat. That's what it is. And that's how you end up with a dad bod. You know what I'm saying? They get pregnant, they get cravings, and then they feed you all their cravings and then you're a fat shit. So you can't go out there and cheat. That's exactly what they do, bruv. Do you know what I mean? And then all these girls will twang you into believing they like guys with dad bods. And then when they when these girls go to all hen parties, all these men got eight packs here and their shoulders got shoulders and shoulders on shoulders, blood, and their muscles got muscles, rude boy. Don't buy into this shit, bruv. These guys try to feed you up so you get fat and stay inside, bro. That's all they do, fam. That's why it's their love language, bro. It's damage limitation. Like, welcoming. So for me, it's a big thing. Like, I want to cook for you. Like, it will hurt me if you don't want me to cook. What would you do if I had no bum? Fam, she don't have a batty, bro. I don't care what no one says. Because when she says, what do you? What would you do if I don't have no bum, yeah? I know she's got, like, the, the human diaper. You know them ones? Some big nappy batty. That's rough. Yo, is it finished, bro? Because, yeah, I need bum, bro. Like, really? I need I need that. I'm black. Come on. Come on, man. Never. Do you have? Do I have what? Bum? Everyone has a bum. No. Oh, she ain't got no back, man. You know when she says everyone's got a bum? Listen, when a girl's got back here yeah, and she's confident with the back here, yeah, bruv, it's, it's, bruv, she knows she's got one. It's not everyone has a bum. You know what I'm saying? They'll just give you a look to let you know. Furthermore, things when things got batty, you can see it even from the front. You ain't even got bruv from the front, you know they got batty, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? She got the IKEA thing. No, but like real, like legit. I've been told so. Can I see? Nah, bro. No? Asian things Maybe ain't later. Man. <laughs> I'm not standing up right now on camera. Okay, later, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that sounds like I'm gonna fucking get naked now. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. God. Keep that in there. Keep that in there. Hey man, them. You see what I'm saying, bro? This is what happens when gal forget the cameras on. Standing up right now on camera. Okay, later, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that sounds like I'm going to fucking get naked now. <laughs> Perfect. God. Keep that in there. Keep God. that in there. Keep that I in there. I didn't mean that. I meant. <laughs> mm. Yeah. You know, like that. Yeah. Exactly. These things, bro. You let them talk long enough, they'll tell on themselves, bro. And this is what it is, bro. This is what it is. And this is why she doesn't stand up here when the man them are coming in because she got no back, fam, I'm telling you. The amazing things never have batty anyway, to be fair, bro. They always have, like, good legs, but they never have batties. Never. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, forget it. <laughs> good answer. I like that. What if I went to prison for two years? You or me? I did. <laughs> good luck. Would you wait for me? <laughs> What if I go to prison for two years? No man ain't waiting for no girl. Bro, remember, look what happened with Papoose, you know? Papoose waited for his girl, blood, and then she came out and cheated on man. Bro, it's crazy in the dunya, bro. Listen, if I'm with anyone and they go jail, yeah, it's over. You know, like that, it is over immediately, bro. Like, you've got family. You've got family that can ring you and send you posts and that. As soon as you go jail, bro, listen, you broke the contract. Do you know what I'm saying? It's over. Of course. Yeah? Yeah. I'd be gone in a second, bro. Would you say? See, he's not taking her serious no more. He's just finessing now. He's just trying to smash. So now he's just saying anything. He knows she's a red flag. And now he's just saying anything now. Loyal. Sorry? Would you stay loyal? <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah, I would, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's very convincing. <laughs> to my dog, yeah. Would you stay loyal? <laughs> Man said to my dog, bro, he's just not taking her serious no more, bro. Like, listen, this has gone off a cliff now. Who to me? Bro, delusional at best. 
his only downfall is he wouldn't stay loyal if I went to jail. I mean, I'm not having any plans to go to jail, but, you know, I know he's not ri riding out for me if I do. Bruv, what do you mean only downfall is he wouldn't... Bro, any girl that would expect you, yeah, to wait for them that went into jail is just not realistic in how life works. They're just not realistic, bro. Like, I'm not waiting for no girl if they go jail. And furthermore, why would I be with a girl there that has the potential to do time in jail anyway, bro? That just makes me a dickhead. Of course. You need some food commissary. You need, like, a phone call. I'll be there for you right away. Would you have sex with any other woman whilst I was in jail for two years? Of course. Is that, is that yes? See, a man has needs, right? Okay. So, so jail's like, what? You said two, two years? Two years. That's a long time. You couldn't just stay celibate for two years whilst I was in jail. Two years celibate? Yeah. I'm a nigga, bro. Come on. So? Hell no. Two years. Two years. And people go jail and get fat these days as well. Imagine. You might go to meet your missus in jail and she's fat, blood. Nah, it's crazy, man. Now, there's absolutely no chance, bro. As soon as she goes jail, yeah, I'm a free agent. You know, like that. The contract gets terminated immediately. Man's going to wait for two years. Nah, bro, listen. I'll be signing for another club here yeah, within the week. Are you crazy? Two years? You got hands? Pamela Anderson? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, man. I'm good, man. This is probably the best day I've had so far. I'm not going to lie. Well, oh, my days. Look, and she's just doing the majority of the talking and she's loving the date, bro. Because I told you, these girls like the sound of their own voice, man. Them. It's a disease. Usually if I propose to you. Well, you go on a knee. Yeah. To me. Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> Would you say yes? Man said that's cute, blood. He's a weirdo, bruv. I can't lie. And even the little uncomfortable giggle that he done as well, bro. Listen, this guy. He's got no confidence, you know. Like he's he's a weird bruh. He's bare awkward, you know. Like, I can't even lie. He's he's killing himself. Are you crazy? Two years? You got hands? Pamela Anderson? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, man. I'm good, man. <laughs> This is probably the best day I've had so far, I'm not going to lie. What would you do if I proposed to you? Well, you go on a knee. Yeah. To me? Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> would you say yes? That's cute with a fake laugh. That's not cute, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? That's not cute, bro. This guy, bruv, it's the, hey, bro, the fatherless energy, bruv. Nah, man, it's protruding through my speakers, blood. No. Why? I want to do it. That just seems wrong all across the board. It's totally wrong. But that's what I mean. He's saying one thing off camera and one thing to her face. He's just trying to twang. He's just trying to beat. And this is what I'm saying, bro. This is exactly what I'm saying. He's just trying to beat, bro. Like, he's clearly just lying to her, yeah, and be complying with her just to get in the pumps, yeah? And she's lapping it all up. She's the one that said that she can tell us when a man's lying, yeah? And she's a good judge of character. But we're seeing right here in 4K exactly why she man them are hitting drive-bys on her all the time, yeah? Because she cannot tell when a man's just telling her what she wants to hear. I agree with that. If I'm like this, marry me. Like like this? Yeah, with the ring. Dragon Ball Z? This is the ring. Dragon Ball Z? No, it's, it's not Kamehameha. <laughs> what's, what's, wait, how do you know that? Because I like Dragon Ball Z. You do? Yeah. That's kind of hot. Is it? Yeah. Dragon Ball Z, like, what's wrong with you? Are you... Are you okay? Like, do you like anime? It's crazy, but like, what are you doing? Dude, she's Asian, bro. It's not that much of a surprise. This is my ring, though. This is my... Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you say? I'm saying, will you marry me? Uh, uh, listen, I think that's awesome. It's shiny, like, look. But like, um, I want to do it, though. So you'd say no? I would say, listen, babe, let me do this for you. Great answer. I would take it, whisper in your ear, stop it. Get some help. <laughs> I'm gonna do it for you, okay? Okay. Okay. So let Michelle. We've been here talking. This guy, bro. Listen, if a girl ever got on her knees, yeah, and tried, bro. Imagine if it was in public as well. The embarrassment. The second hand embarrassment, bro. If you ever tried to do that in public, yeah, to try and put me on the spot and make me have to say yes, I'll just give you one look, bro. The look that parents give their kids before they're about to receive a backhand in the supermarket. That's the, the look that you're going to get from me. That's the look you're going to get from me. And then you just need to get up. That just is what it is. Because if a girl does that to you, yeah, it's manipulative. She's trying to manipulate you, bro. She's trying to do it in a place, yeah, where you're under so much pressure that you're just going to say yes. Fuck out of here. That's not going down. But this is a very important question. How much did your man earn for you? 
Um, why is he asking that? That's a dickhead question, bro. Because now he's asking that question, yeah? He's using that as a segue to then flex and show how much money he's got, bro. He's a mark, bro. Like, the closest comparison, yeah, to him is someone like Academics, blood. And Academics is crying about he got finessed by this gal and this gal robbed him, bro. This is exactly what it is, bro. Why are you asking how much money should your man make, bro? What, like... Why does it even have to be about money? This is the first date. On the first date, yeah, I don't discuss money with any woman, bro. Like, you have to be in a relationship with me to get an inkling of how much money I make. And it would only be an inkling because you'll never really know completely. You'll just have an idea. 100K, 500K, a million, 50K. No, 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 no. I don't know. I don't have a specific number. Because she's never really been with a man with money And this is the thing The girl that have been with a man with money can say For instance, if her ex made 300 bags a year, yeah She could comfortably just come out and say Oh, 300,000 is comfortable for me Or 200,000 is comfortable But the fact is, she's talking this way, yeah As her standards have plummeted um, As her values plummeted, her standards have gone up this is what women do. This is what's crazy about society. The more their value drops, the higher their standards get. And this is why they'll all end up, they'll remain single, bruv. Because they genuinely think that they deserve more than they've ever had when they're worth less than they've ever been worth. It makes no sense whatsoever, bro. That's why she doesn't know a figure. That's why she could toss around the idea of someone buying a, a 60 grand watch. I mean, a 60 grand ring or toss around the idea of six grand a month not being enough because she doesn't know. Think, think about it this way. What's your lifestyle worth? Like, for example, what's your bills a month? If your mouse was going to take care of you, what I look like in a year? Maybe look, I've said in the past, a ballpoint, it was about 6,000 a month. 72K. As long as it's a nice to live a comfortable life, like I don't want extravagant. You know? Obviously, I've been working. That's me working too, you know. That's your work. Six bags a month ain't a lot, though. It's not a lot, people. I swear to you, it's not a lot. Like, what does she think that six bags a month is? Like, in London, six bags a month in London is not loads. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not loads in London. I'll be real. It's really not. Because with six bags a month, yeah, once, man, once I pay my rent, once I pay for my cars, once I pay, say, once I pay Dave or whatever, once I, once I pay all my bills, once I put money in my savings, and then I got some spending money for the rest of the month, like, bro, do you know what I'm saying? Like, six bags is not as much as you think. You know, like that. This girl's saying that she was looking at an X4 or something like that. If she she leased an X4, yeah, or got um an X4 um, and she was paying for it monthly, it's probably going to cost her at least £500 a month for the X4. So we'll say £500 a month. She's probably going to spend about three to four bills a month on petrol. Then you've got your, um, your, insur your car insurance. You got your gold, your groceries. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you've got your rent. Once you pay all these things, yeah, bro, six bags is like that's not loads of money. Six bags a month for me, yeah, is a comfortable amount of money for me, which means yeah that I can save, I can pay for everything, I don't have to check my bank balance, I can just live. But six six bags a month isn't all oh my days. It's a mad thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Not in London. Most people in London, if you, brother, two bedroom apartment in London is close is close to two grand a month. So that's a third of your six six bags gone already. Do you see what I'm saying? So, unless you've already got a mortgage or something like that, and even then, if you've got a mortgage, then you you got flipping debt. So it's just like, what are we doing, like? And that's what I mean. She's saying six bags, yeah, because this girl's probably living off credit. I'm talking about six bags cash a month. I'm not talking about using credit cards for different things. I'm talking about if you just had the six bags to spend 
and no extra credit, no access to no credit, and you just had to live off cash, £6,000 in London a month is not a lot. You can live a comfortable lifestyle with six grand a month. Six grand a month is probably like middle class. That's what it is. It's not like super rich. Do you know what I'm saying? Like six grand is like, yo, man's nice. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what six grand is. Six grand is a nice, comfortable life. But that is not fucking, I can afford for you not to be bringing in bread like. Do you know what I'm saying? This is crazy. Why do you need your man to make six grand a month if you're going to be working anyway? Because she said, nah, this is with me working as well. This is why you have to listen to what these women are saying. If you're working as well, why do I need to make six grand a month? For who? Because you've got your own money anyway. So what do I need to be making six grand for? Because as soon as women, yeah, as soon as women were allowed to work, yeah, they doubled the workforce. So if you double the workforce, then you half the the pay because the money that they're paying women now is the money that they would have they would have been paying men before bruv so men are getting paid less now yeah because they have to pay women which means how can you still expect man yeah to look after you when you really gave up that right when you were were fighting for your right to be in the workplace so now you don't deserve to be looked after anymore really do you know what i'm saying we're when you're being a hundred percent um logical, we're in a post chivalrous era, bro. Like women should pay for fifty percent of everything now, because you you all work now. This is what it is, because we would all make more money if you guys weren't allowed to work. That's the, logically that's how it is. But now you've got access to the money that you're being paid is money that you've taken away from men. But then men still need to pay for you to do all these other things. That don't even make no fucking sense. This is what I mean. Like, bro, society is literally, it's on its head, you know. Six grand a month, yeah, is comfortable for a brother. And especially if she's got a job as well. If they've got a combined income of like nine grand a month, there's nothing that they can't do with that combined income. Because he's not going to pay 100% of the rent if she's working. That wouldn't make sense. I'm only paying 100% of the rent if you're not working. But if you're working, I'm not paying 100%. I'll pay 60. I'll pay 70. But I'm not paying 100 because you got a job. Put some money down. That don't even make no sense, bro. That don't even make no flipping sense, bro. These gal, bro, these gal have been dropped on their head. Working too? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want you to work though. Okay. But then you'd have to run a bit more then. Exactly. Yeah. So what would that number be? What, if I was not going to work? Yeah. I just like a comfortable life. Like You're lying, bro. If she's not working, man needs to be making around 10 bags. Man needs to be making around 10 bags. Because if he's going to pay 100% of the rent and probably have to give her pocket money as well, do you know what I'm saying? He's going to have to make about 10 bags. 10 bags a month. Like I don't want to stress about money. I don't want to walk in a supermarket and be like, oh, I can't buy this. I can't buy so that. So I'm going to assume that's not enough money then. What's not? The six grand? Yes. It's not enough um, if I'm not going to work. She didn't want to admit it, but she wants money. Myron's right. Okay. 100%. That's it. She doesn't want to admit it, but she does want money. She does. Six bags a month, yeah? You can live on six bags a month, yeah? If you're not living in London. If you moved out, like, outside London and you found somewhere, like, if you were renting and you found somewhere you could rent for, like, 12... Bro, there's places in the UK you can get free four-bedroom place for, like, 1200 a month. You know them ones. And if, if you lived in somewhere like that, yeah, cool, six bags. If the rent's 1200 you could easily live off six bags, yeah, in a place like that. Do you know what I mean? That's calm. But 10... Yeah, you would need 10K... You would need 10K after taxes, really, yeah, to be in London and for her to be able to not work. And that's a lot of money, but then it's not a lot of money. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's one of them ones. So she wants a brother that's making, oh, quarter of a mil a year then, bro, because you'll be in a you'll be in a 50 percent tax bracket or 45 percent. So she's looking at a guy that's making 250k to take home 125k for her to not work. And how many men in the UK are making 250 bags? 
yeah, forget it, mate. Do you know what I'm saying? Forget it. Any bread that's making 250 bags is not going to want to come home, yeah, to two kids that aren't their own and a gal that ain't in shape. Okay, so a million. I've, no, I don't need a millionaire, though. No? No. You ever dated a millionaire before? No. Exactly. I don't need a millionaire. But that's what I said. Guys, she's never been with a guy that's, that's had money. She's never been with a guy that's got that's got money. Do you know what I mean? That's why she's talking about all these figures, but she's never really been with a guy with that money. She doesn't know what that money looks like. I don't need a millionaire. She doesn't know what a millionaire looks like. Because there's a lot of people that are millionaires in terms of millionaires and assets, assets, but they don't have liquid cash. I know guys that are millionaires, but they don't, they don't necessarily spend more money than me. Do you know what I'm saying? So... Because they've got a millionaire, they've got millions worth of portfolio, but they don't have million, millions liquid cash, bro. That's not, so there's different types of millionaires. There's certain men that are millionaires in assets, but they're not millionaires in cash. So they might have less money in their bank than I do, but they've got a portfolio that I don't have. So even the whole millionaire thing, yeah, it's misleading. It's misleading, bro. Because millionaire doesn't mean I have access to a million pounds. You don't even know what it's like. I don't. And like I said, I wouldn't say so no. Don't I not, wouldn't don't try, it off. try it. No, I'm not knocking it. I'm not saying I don't want it. You, you know? You did say that. What if words are powerful? I don't look for it. What what if that was in front of you right now? Well, are you a millionaire? So no, I'm, I'm saying in general. Me. I don't look for it. You said, yeah, that four bags a month wasn't enough to um mugs, I think. Then she's saying six bags ain't enough. To keep her at home But she's saying She's not looking for a millionaire But you are looking for a millionaire You just don't want to say it Because you've disqualified guys That Are not millionaires Basically From your From your um, From all the parameters That you're setting Then I'm not going to say Oh actually you earn way too much money That's not an issue I'm just saying There's a so limit So you want of, more then? I want slightly above average Yeah I don't Perfect. want an average life I just want slightly above Got it. Okay. That's, it. That's fair. Yeah. What do you want? You you don't want your woman to work, so it doesn't matter, does it? Just show up. Okay. I can do that. This guy is, bro, he's a hero, blood. This is them them brothers that grow up with the single mums and they think that they can save every woman because they saw their mum struggle and they just want to make every woman's life better. Simping, bro. Captain save a whole blood. This is what he is. Do you know what I mean? Man's out here trying to save hoes. That's why he named his dog Hero. You know, like that. This is what it is. He genuine. He's like the black Superman. That's what he is, bro. Do you know what I mean? Meteor man and that. You man remember Meteor man, bro. The black Superman fam. This is crazy. That's why he named his dog Hero, bro. Just like Arteta named the dog Win, you know, because he wants to win. He's a hero, blood. It's crazy in the dunya, bro. I'll be honest. It's absolutely crazy, no, don't you? And I peeped the outfit as well. The outfit is terrible as well. She, she came in a mad outfit. I think the top's like a like a um a crop top or something like that. It's like broski. You don't wear a crop top, man. You don't wear a crop top, man. It's crazy. I can't even lie, bro, man. You have to dress for the body you have, not the body you want, bruv. That's what they say, in it. Like, man, can't be wearing a crop top, man. That's mad. You can't be having standards like that. You can't be saying you want a top 1% man when you're not in 1% shape, bro. If you're a mother of two, yeah, and you want a 1% man, your body has to be on a point, bro. Like, because all these things know, yeah, women know that their beauty, yeah, is their main asset. They all know it. That's why these women wear makeup to work, bro. Most girls go to work looking better than they do when they're in the house with their husband. They understand that beauty is their main. It's, it's the main chip that they have to, to bargain with. So when you're physically not in the best shape that you can be in, yeah, you don't deserve anything because that's the one thing that you have control of. Do you know what I'm saying? Not being fat is something that you have control over. You don't have control over your facial features or anything like that because you get it from your parents. But not being fat, that's all on you, you know? So I do a show with girls almost every night. Yeah. Can you handle the lifestyle? Yeah, of course. Really? Yeah, she's not going to cheat on me, are you? I'm not in jail. 
Okay. I think if you're in a relationship. Man said I'm not in jail. See, fresh, you set yourself up for that one. Trust is the biggest thing. If I can't trust you, I'm not going to be with you. I agree. I have to be able to trust you 100%. And you have to give me a reason to. The second I feel like actually, no, I can't trust you anymore. My relationship's over now. Because not only have I don't trust you, I've lost respect for you. You see what I'm saying? She's there talking over oh, her relationship's over. She's already talking about the parameters for leaving. And this is why you have to watch these girls. This is the reason why she's divorced. Because, bro, when you start going into these marriages and saying, yeah, I'll stay with you. But if you do this, I'm leaving, bro. These girls are always looking for an excuse to leave, yeah? Because in society now, yeah, it's cool to be a victim for women, bro. Their whole feminism argument, yeah, is based on victimhood, bro. And, be, and being the oppressed and being the victims, bro. And this is what it is, bro. And this is why, yeah, these women, yeah, choose shit men on purpose. The reason why they choose shit men on purpose is because, yeah, when it inev inevitably goes wrong, they can look like the victim. They can get their child support. They can go to the... um to the system and say oh this guy done this to me and i'm the victim and i deserve this because when you pick the good guy yeah that's not gonna fuck you over now you can't do your bullshit because if you do your bullshit everyone's gonna know that you're the piece of shit that you really are and this is exactly what it is so these gal yeah they pick shit guys on purpose because it gives them a get out of jail free card whenever they want and that's why man have to peep game bro they don't want the nice guy because the nice guy doesn't allow them to do fuckeries. Case in point, Aisha Curry as well. Do you know what I mean? She wishes she was with a fuckboy because if she was with a fuckboy, yeah, that was out here cheating on her and doing other things, bro, she'd be getting her back blown out as well. But now she wants to get her back blown out, but Steph is the model husband, yeah? She's dying because the inner hoe inside her wants to be outside in the streets. It wants to be free, blood. But she knows that everyone would hate her if she ever cheated on Steph, bro. You know what I'm saying? So she can't do what she wants to do, fam. And that's why she probably wishes that she chose her worst guy. She wishes she was with Tristan Thompson, bro. So she could have been out on the streets getting hers as well. Because respect comes with being able to fully invest and trust someone. That's fair. The relationship just falls apart. I agree. What would you do if... This Brez just said, I agree. I agree the whole time. That's why she loves this. I let you sleep with other women. I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it? No. I feel like you're really media trained. He's yeah, because you can't let me do anything, bro. If I'm going to be mashing things, I'm doing it of my own accord. Been around. <laughs> what? You're really media trained. Because you're letting because... me do it. But if I say... See, she's understanding now. She's like, yo, she twang. She can see that he's twanging her now because everything's, I agree, I agree. Nope, wouldn't do this. And you can't do it's it. Like, Are you going to go and do it? When a girl says, oh, I'm fine. She doesn't really fun. mean that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a trap. Or they say, do what you want. Exactly. Don't do what it's you want. It's a trap, yeah. But what if she wasn't trapping you? She actually, maybe you had higher sexual desires than she did. And she said, look, I can't fulfill them. I don't want to lose you. Just go and do what you need to do and get it elsewhere. Is that you? No, it's absolutely well, never that, going to be me. That's but why are you asking these hypothetical questions then? This is what I'm trying to say. These things really think, yeah, that they're smarter than they are, bro. You're asking me hypotheticals, but if you're not ever going to be in a position to offer me this, then why is my answer to this, yeah, of any interest to you? And this is why I say, a lot of the time, these girls are asking you questions, yeah, just to try and disqualify you. That's perfect. So I won't answer the question then. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> That's the first assertive thing he's done all date will say, I'm not answering your question. What would you do if we went on a date and when you went to the bathroom, when you came back, you realized I'd already paid the bill? For the meal. Mm -hmm. You did? Yeah. I'm trying to think, why? To treat you. We just met, right? Yeah. Nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. To treat me. Listen, if you're going on a first date and you've just met a girl, yeah, and she pays for the date, yeah, when you're in the toilet, she's tried to assert her dominance, in it. She's overstepped the mark. That's not acceptable in any way, shape, or form. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't do that. Like, I would rather you had a conversation with me when we was there and said something and I tell you no. But if you're just going to do it behind my back, nah, bro. I wouldn't like that. Even if it came from, you think as a woman, yeah, it came from a, a good place, yeah? You should know as a woman, yeah, that 
as a man, I should I want to lead. So you've taken that away from me. And you shouldn't do that. And you shouldn't want to do that. So the fact that you've actively taken the option away from me to pay, yeah. You've stepped on my toes. It's a problem. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a problem. Because that means I now have to think that in other ways you're going to challenge my authority. You're going to challenge my leadership. Do you know what I'm saying? And now nah, I can't have that. I mean, that's nice of you, but like, I want to pay the bill. Would you get mad at me? I would be mad. I'd be like disappointed. Would you... Yep, I would be disappointed because now I'm going to have to let you go. Reimburse me. Because you, you took away that from me. So I have to give you the cash back 100%. Okay, so you'd reimburse me. You can't say no. I'd give you the... Yeah, but even if you give her the cash back, she's still taking that away from you, Dredd. And this is the thing. She's still taking that away from you. Even if I give you the cash back, I can't unsee what I've seen. Do you know what I'm saying? You can't un-disrespect me. Because as far as I've, I'm concerned, if you do that, you've disrespected me. Because there wasn't a conversation. There wasn't an agreement. You've gone above my head and done that. Nah, you can't challenge my authority on the first date. That's crazy. If you do that on the first date, it's over for you. Even if I give you the money back, why would I give you the money back? Because I know I'm not going to see you again anyway. So I'm not giving you the money back. Okay, I like that. But go paying for the bill, that's an L. Never. I feel like if I was on a first date and I pay, it's because I don't want to see you again. Mm. 100%. The thing well, there you go. Because you've challenged my authority. So you know you've disrespected me. You know you've disrespected me. So you couldn't expect to see me again. That's real. The thing is with me, I don't let men pay for me for anything unless you're my man. So unless I like you, because I wouldn't even be on a date with you if I didn't like you. Right. Unless I like you, you can't pay for me. She just contradicted herself. Listen to what she said. She said, I don't let men pay for me unless they're my man. Then she said, if I was on a date with them, I wouldn't be on a date with them if I didn't like them. Like, bro, what are you talking about? On a first date and I pay, it's because I don't want to see you again. 100%. The thing is with me, I don't let men pay for me for anything unless you're my man. So unless I like you, because I wouldn't even be on a date with you if I didn't like you. Right. Unless I like you, you can't pay for me. Did you hear what she said? Did you hear what she said? Am I the only... Because, bro, like I like I like to think of myself as someone that's fairly switched on. Did you hear the contradiction in that? Here you go. One more time. One more time. The thing is with me, I don't let men pay for me for anything unless you're my man. So unless I like you, because I wouldn't even be on a date with you if I didn't like you. Right. Unless I like you, you can't pay for me. Like, I can't be in a club and a man will buy me a drink. It will never happen. You can't really? Pay, no, you can't pay for me. Until you're my man, then I will let you have that. That's kind of privilege. Is that a word? You can pay for me now? Is it a privilege? I don't know. It's almost, like a, it's almost like you're telling the person, like, I want to be with you. Yeah. In the future. These gal here think that it's a privilege for you to spend your hard-earned money on them. Do you see the craziness? It's a privilege for me to spend my hard-earned money on you. So I have to earn the right to spend my money on you. Who do you think you are? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, these things have got such an inflated self-worth, yeah? An inflated sense of self. I just don't know. It's a privilege for you to spend your hard-earned money on me. And what do I get in return? Kind yeah. Of okay. Like, sure. I look to you as you could be potentially a partner. Right. So I'm going to let you start acting like it. If I don't see that, then I will pay and I will cut that right oh. there and then. Makes sense. Fresh is just agreeing with everything. This guy just wants to bang in it. Like, man, them, I told you, certain men think they can comply their way into pum pum, but what happens is it backfires and you comply so much, she thinks, ooh, we got loads in common. Let's be friends. <laughs> them man comply their way into holding handbags, bro. Well, I've had a lovely date. 
This was fun. Fun? Yeah. Was it the best day you've ever had? You want the honest truth? Yeah. Of course it was. Oh, I'm so happy you said that. It wasn't truthful at all, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. It was good energy. I feel like we connected on a deeper level. Yeah. Like no, you connected on a feminine level, bruv. Both of you lot, do you know what I mean? Your estrogen was estrogen in, bruv. You know, like that. That's all it was. You connected on a girlfriend level, bruv. Do you know what I mean? And you lot can link up and paint your nails together, bro. I can't lie. You let the man them down on this fresh. I can't lie. This was the softest day I've ever seen, bro. She called you a teddy bear, rude boy. Yeah. Like, we're good people, so it makes Keep sense. in touch. So, uh, second date? Tomorrow, isn't it? Miami? Eight o'clock. Oh, I've never been to Miami. Oh, it's Miami now. It was Novakov before or something, and now it's Miami. This bread's just flexing his wallet, bro. This bread's got no game blood. Man said man got a PS5 and no game blood. Man's just on the loading screen, blood, but there's no game, fam. Miami. So, well, hold on. This, this is the layout. Tomorrow, 8 p.m., dinner. I fly back on Wednesday to Miami. Let's go. Let's see how the second date goes. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Bruh. What, are the kids coming along fresh? It was very lovely. Lovely again. Man like Russell Wilson, bro. You're a mark, bro. This is the kind of guy, yeah, that women settle for after the man them have ran through her, bro. And then you just see Flex, fresh there, yeah. Flexing, bro, with his flipping Rolex and the Miami and the Novakov and flying back and all these other things. But he's Russell Wilson, bro. He's a Russell Wilson, bro. He's a mark, bro. And then he's going to end up like Marcel, blood. You know, like that. Because Marcel wife the whole year. And then she cheated on him, bro. Sending news to Slim Jimmy, bro. She will settle for um, Fresh. And then she'll still be out here texting her exes. This is exactly what will happen. Too funny. <laughs> he's a mark, bro very refreshing to have a different kind of man for once it's not man down my throat telling me that they don't respect women and women are women suck you see what i'm saying it was nice to have a man that didn't challenge her that's exactly what she said literally like run that like read between the lines read between the lines look what she said <laughs> it was very lovely it's very refreshing to have a different kind of man for once. It's not man down my throat. A different kind of man that's not challenging her, basically. Because he just complied for the whole date. Embarrassing. Telling me that they don't respect women and women are, women suck. It was smooth. She was pretty, like, uh, fun to talk to. Honestly speaking, like, it wasn't really tough at all. And it was a good day. So, yeah, it was lovely, really refreshing. And I had a lovely time. I feel like it was, like, therapy for her. Because, like, I'm chilling, bro. Yeah, she's she's hella red flags. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, he's clapped anyway, so he's got to try and lead with his wallet. Do you know what I mean? And he's done that. My my man done the Novakov Miami thing. Millionaire, how much money does your guy got to make? This is how he gets girls, guys. And this is what I said. Like, when I first came across um, Fresh and Fit, yeah, my first um, observation was that, especially him, yeah, if he didn't have money, he wouldn't get girls. Do you know what I'm saying? And this is just what it is. Like, and you can see that he's used, he's used money, yeah, and his wealth, yeah, to carry the whole conversation. His money carries him. His money carries him because without the money, he's got no confidence, bro. He doesn't even have a confident posture. Do you know what I'm saying? Everything about him is very, his demeanor is very, very meek. Like, he's got nothing about him. I was, I was like super relaxed. It looked like you yeah i'm that guy bro I you're not that guy and the thing is he keeps saying i'm that guy and winking and that but he doesn't believe it do you know what i'm saying like he's saying it but he's not saying it like i'm that guy it's like i'm that guy bro but it's like nah you're not bro do you know what i mean it's fake man can see you right through that he didn't even need to grill him he seemed so laid back and so lovely so yeah. lovely i think michelle's cool and uh good energy no, her well. shoulders might be wider than his on some level I would see her again, but will I actually see her again? I don't know. I would see Fresh again. Um, yeah, he's lovely. Lo he's lovely. Do you know what I mean? She's like, yeah, I would see him again. He said he was going to take me to Miami. You know, like that. Teddy bear and that. Cuddle on the flights and that while I rinse man's credit card. Lovely energy to be around. You don't have to force yourself to, to enjoy his company. He's lovely.
Lovely, 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 lovely. Bro, he's not beaten, bro. Gonna... She's talking about lovely, 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 bro. There's nothing, bro, there's nothing masculine about lovely, bro. Gal needs someone that's going to give them an absolute seeing to, bro. She's not trying to sleep with, man. She's trying to finesse, man. She's going to be taking pictures, yeah? Taking Snapchats with him not in the Snapchat, bro. That's what's going to happen. He's going to be that brother that's taking her out on dates. And she's snapping, she's snapping the, um, the table, bro. Gonna rate me like a seven or eight. Is that above average? Yeah, seven, seven or eight. It's a high score. Yeah. Seven. Oh, that's why I even it's pretty bad. So what are you gonna get fresh? I'm gonna get fresh a nine point two. Nine point two out of ten. Yeah. A nine point two because, bro, look at that. Ed has got a two. Myron got a five. Fresh got a nine point two. Yeah, because. He just complied with her the whole time. Do you see what I mean, guys? This is what I'm trying to say. If you go on a date with a woman, yeah, and try and comply your way, yeah, into the pum pum, yeah, she'll say you're a lovely guy, but she's not going to fuck the 9.2. She's going to fuck the 5.5 .5 and the 2.0. That's who she's going to fuck. You know, like that. This is what I'm saying. She'll say you're a lovely guy. She'll spend your money. You're, you're the 9.2 is the guy that has to take her out on free dates in expensive restaurants and probably won't still beat. And then the 5.5 .5 Myron, yeah, that he'll bat her up on a date and then there won't be no second date. All that will happen is, yeah, one night he'll message her when he's out and then he'll just come around her house and smash it. This is how the game goes, guys. The game is rigged, bro. Like the higher you get, yeah, the less likely you are to get a pump. <laughs> I swear. Exactly. The lower ranking guests are the ones that have imprinted on her and the ones that, that they could smash. Yeah, I'm going to start high. It's a nine point two. Nine point two, you know. This is what I'm saying to you guys, bruv. This is exactly what I'm trying to tell you guys. The nice guys always finish last, bro. This is it. Because man got a 9.2, but she called him lovely the whole time. There was no sexual chemistry there. There was no sexual chemistry there. So this is why I say, yeah, watch what they do and don't listen to what they say, innit? Because women say one thing and do the other. The woman called man a teddy bear, called him lovely multiple times. That's not what you want, man, them. That is not what you want out of these girls. So it's poor. I can't even lie. It's poor. Um, and I, I don't even feel sorry for him because, bruv, he was moving like a real beta simp, bro. That's, what, that's how he was moving. And man, them like that do not get girl, bro. They do not get gal. When she said, yeah, I don't normally go for guys like him, yeah, but this is a lovely date. She's always going to go for what she goes for. And then when she decides to go for something different, this is when she's actually settling. And when she's settling, yeah, you're not her first choice. And if you're not a girl's first choice, yeah, she'll cheat on you, bro. And then you end up like Jeremy, blood. I told you, man, like Jeremy, bro, that Chelsea player. I told you, man, he found out that two of his four kids, yeah, don't belong to him. Because he wasn't the first choice. He was the guy that she settled for, but then she was still sleeping with her ex on the low. You know, like that. And this is what happens, broski. This is exactly what happens. If you're not a girl's first choice, yeah, do not be the guy that she settles for, man, them. Because if you're the guy that she settles for, you'll have to do more than the guy before to get less than what he got. You know, them ones there, like, you're only getting missionary. He was getting everything. She was skin out for man. She was getting smashed on the balcony on holiday and all them things, but you're only getting starfish. You know, like that. This is what happens. When girls settle for you, they make you pay a higher price, yeah, for a worse product. And this is exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. That's why Mandem do not be the guy that she settled for, bruv. That is fucking crazy. 
So yeah, man. Fresh, absolutely. I can't lie, bro. He put in he put in a soft performance. Do you know what I'm saying? He's gonna end up being the gay best friend. And it just is what it is, bro. He'll probably still end up paying for her to go out to Miami, yeah. And she won't and he won't smash. She'll just fly out there just for the free drinks and all them other things there, and he'll get a kiss on the cheek, bro. Like this, this, this is what happens when man them do that. So yeah, I can't lie. He died, he let down the side, but we kind of knew he would anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? So the game is the game. 